This is a fabulous airplane. It really is. I think the feeling of uh, everybody here today is just uh, uh, pure enthusiasm. As Bert said, this really is a fantastic aircraft. We've got around four and just over four hours of flying under our belts now, and it really has performed flawlessly. And this is a unique aircraft. We've already flown it above 18,000 feet, but it's eventually going to be capable of going to 50,000. It'll be capable of carrying a payload of 17 tonnes and being an astronaut training vehicle. So the White Knight II really is the future of aviation, but more importantly, as it's not really technically an aircraft, it's actually a launch vehicle for space, it is the first ever, first stage to launch that doesn't really require ground-based rocketry that's designed for the purposes of getting a vehicle into space or getting an unmanned vehicle into space that could launch a satellite. An exciting prospect. The approach to landing, we did a low approach and that uh, was just spectacular. I actually got a glimpse of everybody on the side of the runway, everybody cheering. It was a great feeling. It's going to be a year of firsts. White Knight 2 will not only this year prove its enormous flying capabilities of both being a zero-G plane where you could experience zero gravity and an astronaut training vehicle where you could experience G-forces, but will clearly also get some very excited people flying in it. And it is such a unique vehicle with its 100% carbon composite construction and its ability to carry 17 tonnes and its ability to carry all the astronauts to train them for the next day's flight or indeed carry NASA astronauts I think it will probably be one of the most exciting flights that Richard's ever done and he's done a lot of very exciting flying in his life.